Welcome to AMAC Fitness. You're watching uh, dynamic warm-ups for any exercises that you may be getting right into. And with that being said, we're gonna get right into this. First one is the um, high knees. I call this the thousand, thousand rep high knee range because of the distance between the cones is only six yards apart. You definitely wanna get you a whole lot of reps in between. The next one would be A skips. Notice high knees, good pumping of the arms, and we always going to the last rep, which is to the cone. Follow behind that would be a high knee pull. Uh, make sure that you pulling the knee up and filling that, that stretch within the glutes. Okay. All right, so hand placement is important. You wanna put one on top of the knee and one towards the bottom of the ankle so that it help you uh, lift up and get a good squeeze for the glutes. The next one would be knee facing outward, pulling for the groin area, and you still feel this a tad bit in your glutes too, so. Okay, here we have grass cutters. Real simple, uh, not real simple. Bend the back leg slightly, push your hips back, and you should almost go into a, a sitting motion whereas you can feel the, the stretch on the hamstring area. Heel should be, the front foot should be straight, should be pointed toward the sky. Do not have that foot too far in front of you for you won't feel the exact stretch you need to be feeling. All right, so reverse leg swing. Right leg is down at that point. The opposite leg, left leg will be kicked up into the air, almost as straight as possible, definitely. If you could touch the ground, that's great. If not, you can go into a parallel position where your body is parallel to the floor, the grass, and you'll still feel a hamstring stretch. It'll also look like a Superman pose. All right, lateral lunges. Again, one, two, three, four. Uh, stretches in between, maybe five, and again, it's because of the cone distance. We want to make sure that we're getting a great stretch in between reps because I can't stress it enough. I'm big on um, injury prevention and definitely warming up the body to be able to do whatever exercises that we are up against in the current event of exercises. Also, notice that I crossed the cone and did additional rep because it's like scoring a touchdown. You don't score a touchdown until you break the plane. You don't kick a, a goal if you, don't, if you don't go through the net and so forth, all right? Make sure that you're always crossing over the cone and being disciplined with that. And last but not least, we got some simple arm swings, arm rotation, big loops, at least 20, 25 front with 25 backwards. That'll help you get that range of motion going, especially for quarterbacks or guys that's gonna be reaching and jumping up for the ball and extending, very much so. So definitely get your arms up and over, big round motions, and get those arms warmed up, that rotator cuff ready for anything that comes your way. All right, last but not least, you got the wrist stretch for flexibility. You can also flip the hand over and push down on the, on the top of your hand to get a better stretch too.